Hello everyone, now let us discuss about some of the mock questions from anatomy and medical terminology for CBC exam. First, let us discuss about questions from medical terminology. Coming to first question, ventral, umbilical, spigillian and incisional are types of what? Option A, surgical procedures. Option B is hernias. Option C is organs found in the digestive system. And option D is cardiac catheterizations. Ventral, umbilical, spigillian and incisional are types of hernias. So the correct answer is option B. Coming to next question, what is the term used for inflammation of bone and bone marrow? There are four options. Option A is chondromatosis. Chondromatosis is a locally aggressive bone tumor of the cartilaginous site. The next option is option B, osteochondritis. Osteochondritis is a painful type of osteochondrosis where the cartilage or bone in a joint is inflamed. It is often referred to as osteochondritis desiccans, OCD. Osteochondritis desiccans. The term desiccans refers to the creation of a flap of cartilage that further dissects away from its underlying subchondral attachments. Hence the term desiccans. Option C is costochondritis. Costo means drips. Costochondritis is an inflammation of the connective tissue where the ribs are attached to the breastbone, which is nothing but sternum. Finally, option D is osteomyelitis. Osteo means bone and myelo means bone marrow. Osteomyelitis is an infection in the bone caused by bacteria or fungi. It often results in the inflammation of bone and bone marrow. So, the term used for the inflammation of bone and bone marrow is osteomyelitis. The next question, the root word trico means hair. Option A is the correct answer. Trico means hair. Next question, glomerulonephritis is an inflammation affecting which system? Glomerulo means glomerulus. Nephro means related to kidney. So, glomerulonephritis is the inflammation, is an inflammation affecting the urinary system. Option C is the correct answer. Glomerulonephritis is the inflammation affecting the urinary system. Next, coming to questions from anatomy. Coming to the first question, what is the difference between entropian and extropian? Entro, en means inwards. ET means outwards. Entropian is the inward turning of the eyelid and ectropian is the outward turning of the eyelid. Here you can see the diagrammatic representation. This is ectropian, outward turning of the eyelid. Entropian is nothing but inward turning of the eyelid. This is the normal eye. This is ectropian and this is entropian. Fracturing the acetabulum involves which area? Fracturing the acetabulum involves pelvis area. If you see, this is the pelvic girdle. Here you can see the pelvic bones, ilium, ischium and pubis. And this is the acetabulum. So, fracturing the acetabulum involves the pelvis area. Coming to next question, when a patient is having a tenotomy performed on the abductor hallucis muscle, where is this muscle located? The question is the location of abductor hallucis muscle. It is present in the foot region. You can see the diagrammatic representation here. This is abductor digiti minimum and this is abductor hallucis and this is flexor Digitoria brevis. The next question is complete the series frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and you need to fill the other lobe. Frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and occipital lobe are the four lobes of brain. So the option is option B, occipital lobe. So the complete series is frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and occipital lobe. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.